let me help you on how to split your contact into two or more different sections. Assume you want to play brass or any instrument on our right and play piano on our left hand. It's very simple to do that on contact, starting by loading our samples or libraries onto the multi rack. I'm going to choose a same voice from Motive SF8 library. The name is Techie, something like that. This is how it sounds like. I'm going to split it with a piano on my far leg or I'll load my piano voice. I will choose that from Roland Phantom Genesis. So that's rocking PF from the piano category. As I play my keyboard, the sound only comes from the synth. To make the piano and the synth play together, come to your MIDI channel. Right click on this small drop down arrow. Select port A from host, choose channel 1 instead of 2. Do in the normal splitting, we set our piano from the far left onto some hole in the middle and allocate the red for the synth. To do that, it's very simple. We're going to start with the synth. You see this small span icon there, click on it. You see instrument options. Do that. We have key range here. That's what we need. We have C negative 2 and G8. The C negative 2 is where the notes start playing from. And the G8 is the ending note of the lead or the synth. Just over your mouse over the C2. Drag till you see A2. Very simple to do that. Good. I have my A2 now. For my synth, my starting point will be from A sharp 2 or B flat 2. So just over your mouse on it, drag till you see A sharp or B flat. So I have my A sharp 2 here. Good. So whenever I get to the synth place up to this B flat and when it get to this A note, then it stops. So I need to allocate the piano also to stop playing when it hits the A note. So let's close this panel, go back to our home, do the same, click on this panel icon on the rocking piano, click on that, come to instrument option again. We're going to choose A2 instead, right? Close it and come back to your home. Now we have our piano on our left sent on our right those of you guys who want to transpose using the contact it's very simple to do that use the tune up as you turn on to negative four that's c sharp it's like the normal piano you can transpose on your contact and if you want to turn part octave down either you turn minus 12 or plus 12. let's assume for the piano voice it sounds a little bit heavy so i want to make it sound lighter just your tune knob make sure it's on plus 12 or negative 12. when it's on plus 12 it will sound more lighter I would advise you to pan the instrument left and right. For the rocking, I'll pan it onto my left 50, something like this. And for the lead, I'll pan it my right 50, so that there will be a space for my vocals. Anything like this. So when I'm talking, it will be conflicting with what I'm playing. It sounds nice. You can save this for future use. Just come to this save icon here. Tap on save multi as. Type any name that you want. Choose patch only. Then click on save. You can record this anytime you want. Just come to the same save button. Select load. Or you see load recent. What we save this here. Choose load. Just select open. Yes, then we have our part again. So thanks for watching. If it helped you, kindly like and share this video to your colleagues.